Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Root Beer Review, where in this review we find out if this root beer is a hot dog or if it leaves us cold. And for this review, we're going to be doing Dog and Suds, which is a fairly popular um, root beer. It's not quite on the same level as maybe like an A&W or a IBC, which you can literally find any place, but it is fairly common to find. I'm not sure if it's regional. I, I don't think it is because I feel like this is something that, that I've seen all over the country, but... But yeah, uh, so uh, there's probably going to be a lot of people who are very familiar with this root beer and probably like this root beer a lot. So um, it's actually been quite a while since I've had it. I don't remember it being good or bad. Nothing that really blew my mind or anything, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be a, a revelation uh, <laughs> with this one. Maybe maybe it's fantastic and I've just totally forgotten about it over time. But, but yeah, I'm kind of excited because, um, again, like I said, this one is... Uh, it's one of the bigger names, so, um, you know, and I like doing the uh, the more popular ones because, you know, it makes you wonder, why are they so popular? So, anyway, um, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. All right, so starting with the ingredients, that should be, nope, over here. Um, we're going to go ahead and start looking at the ingredients, which, of course, carbonated water, cane sugar, natural and artificial flavors. <laughs> Uh, it's not, uh, you know, it's standard fare, but, you know, as I've said a million times, you know, I, I like showing the ingredients because I think first off, it's educational to anyone who's actually looking to purchase something like this to know what's inside of it specifically. Also, I think it's really interesting when you do get those, um, strange flavors and stuff in it. So let's go ahead and get a better look at the bottle here. Dog and Suds root beer. I like the art on the bottle and everything. I believe Dog and Suds is also a, um, it says drive-in style right on, on the bottle, but I believe it is also like a, a drive-in style, um, food place too. I've never actually been to one, but, um, but yeah, usually, usually a lot of drive-in, uh, places usually have their own draft root beer. And, uh, I would fully recommend going to one of those places and trying it. Cause usually it's pretty good. Uh, I know some places like A&W, like they get their like big bag of, um, mix that and everything. But even then that's still better than syrup, right? You know, they have their own mix that they make and that that's something that i always find really interesting about those restaurants but we're not talking about a and w in this one anyway um so yeah that's the ingredients so let's go ahead and crack this thing open and uh get a little bit of that scent all right so let's go ahead and crack this open i believe it's a pop top so i got my wow it's kind of funny hey look i'm wearing a game of thrones t-shirt and i'm using my game of thrones bottle opener there we go. That's better. Anyway, uh, I swear I'm not a shill for HBO Max. Okay. Maybe it was a twist top and I'm just a weak person. That's 100% possible. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. Popped open. And yeah, it was a twist top. I just. My weak, flimsy hands could not take it. Let's go ahead and take a sniff. Okay. So, kind of, in, in a way what I expected because the thing about dog and suds is that because of the brand that it is and everything because it is a very easy to find brand I find that those brands kind of all have a similar kind of flavor profile which is sweeter than normal but not overdoing it kind of like we're not gonna try to change the way that you think about root beer but it's more like like this is what root beer tastes like. This is this is the standard sort of root beer. Now the scent that I'm getting from that from the root beer is that it's that little bit of sweeter, but still standard kind of flavor. So, which is not a bad thing at all. It's not a bad thing at all. In fact, I, I you, right now I would, I'm, well, I'm not going to tell you what letter grade I would give it. I haven't even tasted it yet. But uh, let's go ahead and get to the pour and foam. Um, before we uh, go ahead and taste it, but yeah, pour and foam coming up. So here we go. Of course, we've got the trusty frosted mug. Oh, 
and we're gonna go ahead and pour this and uh, see what we got. See if this if it lives up to the suds in Dog and Suds. No, not really all that foamy. In fact, um, it's probably gonna be gone before I get a taste of it. So, um, yep, nope, totally gone. So, not maybe the most picturesque, but you know, uh, testing the foam in the head of the root beer is is one of the. Again, it's more about being photogenic than it is about the actual thing. And sometimes you get a unique flavor out of the foam too, but um, in this specific case, you know, it, it, it's it's not there. So take with that what you will. But let's go ahead and uh, get into the taste test now. You know, I probably should have made a bigger deal about the fact that it's called Dog and Suds, and there is no suds. There's no suds. Also advertising, but hey, if it tastes good, whatever. So let's find out. So I, I gotta be honest, it's, um, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by this. Like I've said before, I've had dog and suds before, but I guess maybe because I was never drinking it in a critical way that I never really took the time. You're just drinking it to drink it. Right. I'm never really trying to taste it to see what it is. I am genuinely surprised at how good this is. Um, I'm trying to decide where to put it as far as a letter grade off the top of my head because it really is kind of like I don't know how much of it is me being surprised at how good it is versus um, uh, versus if it is actually as good as my head is telling me right now again you know it's kind of off the top of my head too so who knows but um it's got a lot of those things. If you've watched more than one of these videos, you know that uh, there are flavors that I like and there are flavors that I dislike. This one is very sugary, I should say. It is very sweet, but there is definitely like a creamy part of that. It's very, it's got, it's, 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 it's smooth, but it still has bite, if that makes any sense at all. Probably because, like I said, it's got that creamy, flavor to it but it's still like if i'm saying that the suds aren't you know the suds are in the drink not in the foam if that makes sense and that's what i usually mean by bite is just kind of like it's that mix of what flavors and the carbonation and all that stuff kind of you know that gives you that bite and like down here or something like that <clears throat> and it's it's very minor but it's a noticeable amount um, but otherwise, um, it is like, it is, it is very creamy, vanilla, um, sweet, sugary, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it in the moment. I guess we'll just go ahead and have to grade it. So what to grade this one? This is really hard because I really liked it. I really liked it, but do I like it like a lot? Is it doing enough to get an A? And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like when I, when I taste things like Sprecher's, which obviously is my gold standard, my favorite root beer. Um, what is it? How does it compare to those drinks right the ones that are the highest level the ones that really stick out to me how does it compare to that and i think it actually like i think if i had like b plus b minus you know those kind of distinctions i might give it a b plus but since i don't i'm not going to give it a b i'm actually going to give it an a maybe this would be an a minus or a b plus somewhere in there but i but i am i'm going to give it an a and um yeah like it it really like i'm i'm again i am surprised at how much i enjoyed this because i really but i was really expecting something more along the lines of of your ibcs or your more conventional ones and not that this isn't conventional because it, it is pretty conventional but it just has 
it's conventional, but it has those things that uh, particularly stick out to my palate that I enjoy very much. And um, that is why it is getting an A. So that is it for this review. Go ahead and um, like and subscribe to uh, the channel. Um, also, if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitch too. Um, in case I do decide to stream. Well, I do stream. So, uh, so do that. Go ahead and follow. I don't do root beer related stuff usually on the stream. Although I have thought about doing live reviews. Well, but that would be weird to edit, but I don't know. We'll see. And, um, like I said, uh, hopefully I do some more streaming in the future. And, um, and, and if you follow, then you'll know when that's happening. So anyway, uh, I hope you had a good time.